Let's talk about Chevron alignment signs. These Chevron alignment signs are to the left. This is a very sharp curve. The next hazard is the semi truck. It's called the no zones. You can see the sign on the back of that truck. If I can't see you in my mirrors, I can't see you. Well, I am trying to get out of this blind spot, but this car ahead of me is kind of a little bit low on speed, so I want to continue moving. And now this person can't see me. I want you to hear this. Listen. That's the semi truck. You don't want to be messing around with them. We have more Chevron alignment signs. The road is going to the left. Centrifugal force will pull us out to the right. So you really got to be aware of your speed control. You make smooth steering movements and literally I'm just trying to hold the wheel so the car doesn't go off the road to the right because this curve is so sharp. I don't know uh, the degrees of the curve but I will find that out for you to help you. Speed control is pretty good. I'm looking ahead. You can see cars passing me in the left lane. Uh, if I'm going 70 and they're just passing me, they're going 80, 85, 90. So I'm trying to do best practice and show you to help you. Who needs this content? If you're new to the United States, if you are freshly out of your segment one or segment two, get ready to prepare for your road test. I do tutorials to prepare you for a road test. I go over DMV test prep. I'm trying to be as smooth as possible and not oversteer. It is very windy, so the car is being pushed to the left or to the right. You can see the car being drifting. See, it's going to the left. So I'm trying to hold the wheel. Whenever you have conditions like this, you need to slow down a little bit, not make sharp steering movements, and that's what I'm focusing on, just being smooth and not overturning. The middle lane is the smoothest. Uh, if you're a beginning driver, I suggest once you get comfortable in the right lane, the problem with the right lane is you'll get cut off. Uh, cars and trucks are merging out. Some will go faster than you, some will go slower. It's very scary and it does bring in a lot of anxiety. Uh, now I'm in the middle lane. I'm nice and smooth, taking my time. The speed's kind of settled down a little bit. You can kind of tell with the environment. And what I need you to learn is what is the driving environment? We're currently on the expressway, right? We're at 70 miles an hour. I'm in the middle lane. There are trucks in the right lane. There's a semi truck car hauler in the lane ahead of me. The lane is open to the left. It's very windy and it is very bright. So, those are some of the hazards that you'll be dealing with. I want you to hear this truck. Stay away from semi trucks. And now we have a huge trailer hauling a John Deere tractor. I'm not real familiar with this type of equipment, but though that is a lot of weight, so you don't want to hang around that. So we're going to continue. You notice the car that is broken down. This car is currently tailgating me. I'm right at 70, so they're doing about 85. <clears throat> I'm maintaining good speed feels good to drive at the limit. That's what you're going to be evaluating on your new DMV test or road test. There's a car currently in my blind spot to my right. I'm trying to maintain good speed. Oh, you didn't see that semi behind me, but they cut all the way over to the right. Slow down and drive safely. That's what the sign said. So I'm nice and smooth right now. Uh, why do bridges freeze first? They're elevated and cold air will blow across them. I'm lifting my foot, currently almost out of the country. So I'm maintaining good speed control, driving right at the speed limit on your DMV test or road test. It's gonna be about 45 minutes. They're gonna have you merge on the freeway, get off, go into a residential, industrial. We'll make a series of right turns and left turns. So I'm trying to stay as smooth as possible and you, you can see by what the car is doing. I'm trying to look ahead around the curve up ahead of that vehicle. If you find yourself drifting, you're looking down at the lens of the speedometer. You're going to see another truck doing about 85 past me on the left. There they go. So either you're going to learn the right way to be safe or you're going to be going over the speed limit. And if you have bad habits, that's going to hurt you in your DMV test or road test. More likely you will fail your test and then you're going to have to watch my content over and leave questions. I'm here to help you. So I'm maintaining good speed control. I'm going to get over one lane to the right. Mirror, turn signal.
a blind spot. Now I'm in the lane. I'm well aware that that truck has a vacuum behind it and it's cutting through there. It's not most of here. I'm really being pushed. Um, the car's being pushed to the left, to the right, and you can see how the car is being, see the car going to the left? The car is being pushed to the left. So you have to compensate a little bit, but not overly aggressive, right? You're gonna learn a lot from watching this content and I'm gonna get off uh, here because I have a student to prepare for a mock test. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off. My blinker's on. I'm easing off the gas. You can't see it, but there's a truck behind me that is tailgating me. So let's talk about these Chevron alignment signs. A really sharp curve going to the right. So centrifugal force is pulling me to the left to the ditch. I'm not trying to go in there. We got a warning sign telling us there's a light ahead. I'm literally off the gas. So I'm dropping my speed down. This is a double left turn and a double right turn. I'm in the inside lane. Unfortunately, I'm behind this vehicle hauling off the stuff. So I'm leaving some room, taking my time because I don't want a lawnmower and paint in my face. So I'm going up nice and easy. I'm not cutting the turn too tight. They're in a hurry in that great vehicle. I'm taking my time and trying to have best practice. So the environment has changed. We went from 70, see, last second change. That was kind of scary. So I always am aware of this, uh, gas stations, intersections. I'm just trying to tell you how to be a safe driver and things happen randomly all the time. And by you looking at my content, you're gonna see real practice. Now they're gonna speed and cut me off because they're by the truck. I'm maintaining 50 miles an hour, being safe and consistent. So I thought the decision uh, was good. The middle turn lane is uh, solid yellow with broken white. I'm gonna merge in. This is for left turn only. I'm gonna take my time and squeeze my brakes. I'm aware of the person jogging with the Doberman Pinscher. Here's my gap. I make my turn. Now I'm in a residential. I just wanna pull over and talk to you a minute. Hopefully this brought you value. And if it did bring you value, uh, subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. I do driving tutorials. Thank you guys.